Hello and welcome to this presentation on ANSYS Workbench Mechanical. We are going to look at the new AVZ file generation and viewing tool that has been available for the last couple of revisions of ANSYS. Here we are in Workbench Mechanical. This is at release 18.1. Before I show you the generation of an AVZ file, let's have a look at a couple of other tools that help you look at a model. If I click on a heading of interest, for example the Solutions section, there's a tool here to show the items listed here in ascending order. If I click, it sorts them. There's the E followed by the T. If I unclick, I don't have that sorting. This can help you work with very large models. It doesn't make much difference in a small model like this, but just click the heading of interest and then click that Sort button, and you can see for the items, ANSYS structural way down here, same thing here, the results get sorted. Now let's look at another viewing tool. Here, up in View, you can see the ability to go to Presentation Mode. This takes the Graphics window, just this window, and makes it go full screen. But it only works when the screen itself is the highlighted item. If I look at a result of interest, equivalent stress, if I try to go to a full screen view, the graphics window has to have been highlighted first. If I click on equivalent stress and hit the F11 key, nothing happens. But if I choose a result of interest, like equivalent stress, and then click in the graphics window and hit the F11 key, it goes full screen. This can help generate plots that are full size, or it can be used to help examine a model in fine detail. You have to click the F11 key again to get back out. So just remember, highlight the item of interest, here's a deformation, click in the graphics window, hit F11, and you can zoom in and out. This could be quite helpful with large tricky models or when you want to zoom in on fine details. Now let's go to the objective of this video. I click on something of interest, be it the mesh or a stress, I can right click and I can export, and I can export what you see to an AVZ file, an ANSYS viewer file. And the ANSYS viewer application lets you look at a 3D object stored in a file and rotate it and zoom in and out and see things of interest. It's a bit more fun to look at, for example, a stress plot. There you see it on the screen. Right click, export, an ANSYS viewer file right here. I click that button and I can choose where to store it. So here we are saving test AVZ stress EQV. Give the file whatever name it needs to make it meaningful and save it in a location of interest. Now that the file's been generated, let's go have a look at it. The ANSYS viewer can be downloaded by anyone and used to look at AVZ files that have been sent to them by people using ANSYS. You can look at a deformation, a stress, a mesh, or other objects of interest. One of these things can be put in the AVZ file that then might be emailed or placed in some kind of repository from which other people can download it. Now, here is an internet browser. If you go to the ANSYS website, ansys.com, here in the search box type in AVZ and Viewer. Hit the Enter key. Here's a place to download it. So here we are in the ANSYS website. Anyone can go there. Here's the ANSYS Viewer. Scroll down and you can download the ANSYS Viewer software. Note that it's for a 64-bit Windows machine. Download it and install. Once it's installed, you can go to an AVZ file. There's the stress one. Double-click or right-click open. And up comes that object in the AVZ viewer. I can rotate the thing around. I can zoom in and out. I can use the right mouse button and pan. I have a variety of tools up here you can use. There's a help section. 
If the thing gets lost, just click the button right here, zoom to fit, and the model is back in view again. So in this way, someone who does not have ANSYS installed can go in and examine a result that you've sent them. Let's close the viewer. Note that that file was not huge. That was a 56 kilobyte file. Of course, for very large models, the file's going to get bigger, but quite often you'll be able to email it. It is internally compressed, and your customers or other users can have a look at the results of a model or any other kind of thing that you choose to export. So you may find that you could put that to good use. Thank you for joining me.